What's up you guys, welcome back to the channel. On today's video, we're just gonna have a simple video on how to replace the battery in your key fob. Now this particular key fob is a 2023 Highlander, and it's pretty simple. We see customers coming in all the time asking for a key fob battery replacement. And on today's video, I'm gonna show you how and how to tell what type of battery to replace it with. First thing you're gonna do is locate this little release mechanism right here, and that's gonna allow your mechanical key to come out. Now this is important too because if you lose this remote or the battery dies and you can't get inside, this mechanical key will allow you to unlock the door. So you're just going to release this little mechanism right here, just like that, and this little key will come out of the spot. Now this mechanical key, like I told you, opens the door in case the battery in this remote dies, but I'm going to be showing you how to replace the battery. And inside you're going to find this little slot try to shine it so you guys can see so you're just gonna insert it in that little spot and you're just gonna do a little wiggle force and you guys don't have to worry about breaking the key fob because these things are made to be separated so all I did was insert the key in the little slot right here let me show you guys see that fits right in there and with just a little wiggle force I was able to separate it just like that and that's going to expose the circuit board. You guys don't have to worry about breaking it, like I said, because they're made to be removed. I'm just going to put that right here. This is your circuit board right here. Here's the battery, guys. And on this particular model, this battery is a CR2032. So if you go to the counter, just ask for a CR2032 battery. Now from here guys, you just need something small enough to fit inside this hole. A small screwdriver or a knife in the kitchen will be able to get the job done. You just want to insert it right here. Just a little prying force and the battery comes right out. So you'll just go to the counter and say, hey, I need a CR2032 battery. And to install it back, it's pretty simple guys. All you want to do is just slide it back in the spot. Snap it into place. You want to make sure this pad is in place. You don't want it to be, you know, crooked or misaligned. It's kind of cut perfectly, so you can't go wrong. Then you want to install the circuit board right back into the key fob case. You want to install it the right way. And it's cut out, you know, the same shape, so you can't put it upside down or you can't go wrong. So you just want to slide it back in its spot. You want to install the back case. Just kind of line it up as best as you can. Light little pressure. You can hear everything snapping back into place. And that's it guys, as simple as that. Do a little test. Make sure the light comes on. You can see the light beeping, everything's still working. And don't forget to insert your mechanical key back because you don't want this thing lost. That's your only way of getting back inside the car if the battery dies. And that's it you guys, no need to pay me to do it for you, just follow these easy steps. You'll be able to swap out the battery in your key fob, and this applies to most models too. It's not just this 2023 Highlander, most Toyota case or key fobs are made to be separated. Most brands, you know, they're designed to be separated, so you guys are not going to break anything. So if you find the information in this video informative, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I appreciate you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on my next video. Peace.